the anointing comes with challenges and great responsibilities. My question is, are you ready for these challenges and responsibilities? I pray for everyone desiring of God's anointing that the Almighty God will give us the grace, the grace to be able to shoulder these challenges and responsibilities in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are looking at the challenges of being anointed, part two. The challenges of being anointed, part two. Our Bible passage will be Mark 6, 31 to 34, while our memory verse will be Luke 12, 48. Let us pray. Heavenly King of glory, my Lord and my God, your children are desiring for your anointing. I am desiring that your anointing will continue to pour on me more and more without running dry. Lord, but we pray that the grace the grace, the enablement, everything that we need to carry your anointing, to be able to shoulder the responsibilities attached to it and the challenges that may come our way. Lord, provide for us in Jesus' name. Amen. A Bible passage. Okay. Mark chapter 6, is chapter 6? Mark 6 from verse 31 to 34. I read, And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while, for there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran a food hither out of all cities, and outwent them, and came together unto him. The last verse. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and he was moved with compassion, because they were as sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. May the word of God continue to be magnified in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our memory verse will be from Luke 12, 48. It says, But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall much be required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more praise the lord hallelujah today's topic is a continuation of yesterday's discussion yesterday we looked at the challenges of the anointed part one today is the part two so one of the challenges of being anointed is that anointed people are perceived to be stronger than they are when one is anointed other people will see that person as a superhuman much stronger than they are because they pray and God answers immediately. People think that they themselves, they don't need prayers. 
Also because they lay hands on the sick and the sick get healed. People also think that they are superhuman and can never be weak or tired. How much more of uh, being sick? Because they preach and souls get saved, there is a tendency to think that they never get tempted. Whereas they probably face temptation more than other people. You see, Moses was just, he just made one mistake. In the 40 years of leading the Israelites to the promised land. Just that one mistake, God said that he would not see the prom he would not enter the promised land. He had been the one interceding for the Israelites. Whenever they make mistakes, whenever they do terrible things, he has been the one interceding for them and God had been forgiving them. Now it was his own turn. It was his own case. He made no mistake, but there was nobody, not even one, to plead for him. Hmm... Do you still want to be heavily anointed? Be ready to work endlessly. And then the Lord said that when he discovered that the Bible says that we should endlessly convert spiritual gifts, say he was happy and he asked God to double the anointing of Elisha, Paul, Peter, and even our Lord Jesus Christ while he was on earth. Now, double them, not just giving the, giving him the anointing, but double the anointing. So, combining them, double them. He <laughs> said, God warned him that he is asking for a dangerous thing because people will not let him rest. You know, when people see that you are anointed, hmm, they will bring all their problems to you. Even after you have ministered to them from the altar, they will still want to see you personally and you cannot send them away because this is the purpose why you were anointed. You were anointed to serve. So when they come, you need to serve them. That is the reason why I can't even understand why people will have to sweat. Some people will, will, will even die before they can see a man of God. Please, the anointed, I use the opportunity to beg of you. Make yourself available to serve your people. Try and see them when they want to see you. Please, I beg of you. I think the Lord said that when he employed a personal assistant and he asked him, when, what? Uh, our work hours. Say, other than the Lord said, we start by 5 a.m. and close whenever God wants us. Hmm. He said that is the reason why Despite the Fight Redeem has uh, branches in over 190 nations in the world. You say, how would he have coped without having these anointed pastors that can pray for the members, take care of their needs, listen to them, serve them fervently? You say, it's only the cases that they can't handle that do get to him. You say, God has also made things easier for him. By making it possible for him to pray from the altar, pray into anointed handkerchiefs, which people have used to perform a lot of miracles that they could have brought to him. A lot of responsibilities and challenges. Come with being anointed. 
So if you desire to be anointed, you should be ready to embrace, ready to embrace all the challenges and responsibilities associated with it. But I pray for you out there. May the almighty God help every one of us to be able to handle his anointing rightly, to be able to use his anointing to impart in the lives of people. May the almighty God help us to make ourselves available to save his children at all times in the mighty name of Jesus. May the anointing on our head not come to waste in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn today is Hymn 23. Take my life and let it be. Peter sing it. It's something all of us know. Please do subscribe to my channel. Share. And give me a thumbs up if you like this particular video. May the almighty God bless you. As you subscribe, as you share, and as you like. Remain blessed.